looks like the most remarkable archive to me. Can you tell me about it? Tell me its history. Uh, my father was uh, Captain Tom Fothergill, uh, was commander of uh, the battleship Marlborough in 1919, and was, which was dispatched by King George V to Yalta to rescue the remainder of the uh, Russian royal family, which was um, the Empress and um, about uh, 30 uh, princes and princesses and 42 children and a stack of gear. Extraordinary, isn't it? Mm. And I did see in this letter from the Empress here. Can you tell me about that one, madam? Tell, tell me. You read it. I'll read it. And it says, let me once more express to you the most heartfelt and grateful thanks for all your kindness shown to me by you and your officers aboard your beautiful Marlborough, which so helped us all. My only regret is you could not bring us all here. Many kind regards to you, Maria Fyodorovna, the Dowager Empress of Russia. Very and upsetting for Very her. upsetting. To have lost the lot, yes. basically, except she, them. Yes. Well, here we can see the Dowager Empress on board the Marlborough, and in the front of the album, there's a very striking photograph of, of, of the ship itself. And um, it's a very informative one, and captioned by your father here. But these are his own snapshots, which makes this whole thing completely magical. And, of course, the context of this extraordinary story is too terrible to imagine, because here we have a list of princes and aristocrats who had an absolute sense that they were being pursued by people who were after their lives. And along comes a British ship to come and rescue them with your father. Mm. And so an enormous sense of gratitude. Um, and the realisation of what could have happened to them was very obvious rather later on when they learnt the fate of the imperial family who were murdered in Ekaterinburg, the Tsar, the Tsarina and all their children shot against a wall. And that is what would have been these people's fate had your father not saved them. And she lost everything, really, in terms of family. And, and I think that must have marked her life forever. Yeah. Um, she was a very well-known figure in London society much later on. And curious enough, I remember Queen Elizabeth, Queen Mother, telling me that she could remember the Dowager Empress on the balcony at her wedding. And, and it was very keen to remind me, frankly, that the British had sent uh, what she called a destroyer mm. to, to oh. rescue the Dowager Empress. And so it's very, very recent history, frankly, isn't it? Yes. And he, wasn't, he didn't go unrewarded, did he? Because this, tell us about this. Tell well, that's uh, the Order of St Anne, which my father got uh, when being involved in this thing. Yes, and a quite a high order from the Empress. There is recognition for that. Also accompanying it is this marvellous album. And in, in, in the back here we can see the Cossacks. And the Cossacks were um, fantastically loyal to the Imperial family. Yeah. They actually captioned the Empress's mm. Cossacks. And I think you can really um, think twice before challenging the Empress with those two fellows waiting outside. So how do you measure something like this? I mean, it's almost obscene to try to value it, but um, the, the absolute facts of this is that there's never been a higher point for recent Russian history than now. And the Russians themselves, ironically, are very, very interested in all things Russian. Um, it is a perfect context, and it, if it was entered into a sale, I think it could fetch thousands of pounds. And if you were jolly lucky, um, you might, might attract a, a Russian buyer and it might even go to 10,000. But in a funny way, 10,000 pounds to me is, is a fraction of what it's worth in the way that it's, uh, it affects me and the way that it affects you. And I thank you very much for bringing it. Thank God, you. I'm so thank pleased. You.